my goodness gracious can you guys see what I am seeing right here this is schools of bait just swimming around here this is unbelievable I was going to the inlet just now I'm here in Atlantic City right next to the Harris Casino I saw some fish blowing up on the little schools of Atlantic Silverside the Menidia Menidia now I don't know about you guys but when it comes to fishing and you find the schools of bait like this right in front of you it is a perfect opportunity to tie something that looks like a tiny fish right you guys probably know what I'm thinking about our main objective is going to be to find out what exactly is feeding on these little minnows you just never know we might get lucky and land something real nice over here let me get my gear set up here man I I'm, I'm eager to find out what's biting down there I actually know this spot quite well and if you guys have watched previous videos here on the channel you guys know this spot too right this is where I caught a bunch of bluefish, the Pomatomo Salta Tricks, years ago on my Cortland Endurance noodle rod. You all remember that fishing adventure? That was like, I think five, maybe even more, six years ago, right? Anyways, it is slack high tide right now and the water is not flowing too much, but soon the tide is going to start going down right that's why i got myself here a little 332 ounce jig with the epf swim because when that tide comes man or the current comes i want to be ready to punch the stuff right and uh, give it enough weight so that it can sink down enough for me to get to the fish below the schools of bait my assumptions is that whatever is feeding down here is probably some bluefish, the Pomatomo Salta Tricks, right? Uh, perhaps even some shed as well, some herring. But I tell you all what, right? We may as well just cast at this point and we're going to find out. Look at that. There's a whole school of birds all the way out there blitzing on something too. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good fishing session. I can tell you all that I saw a bunch of fish around here chasing the little minnows. Some of them were quite tiny. Some of them were actually medium, you know, a little bit bigger. So we may have more than one species chasing the little silver sides around here. The thing with the snapper blues, oh look at that, I got a hit already. Got something on, but this one is one of the tiny ones, I think. Oh yeah, that's one of the snapper blues, look at that. Our first catch of the day, tiny little blue fish, Pomatomus, Salta Tricks. <laughs> on the EPF swim though, on the EPF swim. And thankfully one of this size is not really enough to tear our stuff, to tear our stuff apart, right? So if I'm just careful about this, I may just be able to save the soft plastic. Come on little fella, open up, open up. You know, they have very strong teeth and jaw power. So this dude's right here. Oh, there you go, I saved it. You don't, you don't wanna mess with it. Remember what happened to my brother-in-law's finger? You don't wanna mess with it. I would like to emphasize that EPF does not recommend anyone to do what I am doing here, putting the little bluefish on the jackal egg bucket, right? And just taking a few photos like this, because the fish may just turn and bite you, you know? I, I'm a professional when it comes to handling fish like this, right? As you guys can see, this is Jekyll Egg Bucket version 2.0. This time I got a green one instead of an orange, right? The orange one RIP in Edmonds. But there we have it. First fish of the day. Little snapper blue. Going back where it belongs. There's a still a medium sized fish down here that I want to find out what it is though. Cast right next to the piling. Let it sink all the way down. You never know. You may just strike gold, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got a hit right next to the piling. 
decent too. I don't think it's a snapper blue. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Wait, what is that? Oh, of course. <laughs> you can never escape the curse of the New Jersey fall black sea bass. Centro Pristis Istriata. Only EPF swim, right? The only species of uh, grouper that is common here in the Northeast. Regardless of its size, I just want you all to check out the beauty of this little creature, especially for those who are not familiar with this species of fish, right? The black sea bass. It is actually a very yummy species of fish, right? Just like any other species of grouper out there. But New Jersey not only has crew and limits for the species, meaning that there is a minimum size, they also have a closed season for it. And the truth is, if you were fishing for, for these little fellas from shore, chances are you are not going to catch a keeper, even when the season is open. They are like the plague around here, around this time of the year. And they obviously are feeding on the little silver sides as well, right? As a matter of fact, I just landed a bluefish. I want to show you guys this, right? I just landed a bluefish just now that regurgitated its meal. And as I thought, this is the stuff that they are feeding on. You see that right there? These are little Atlantic silver sides, the Menidia, Menidia, right? So. A lot of people tend to make fun of the micro fishing here on the YouTube channel, right? Some people, they, you know, I'm not going to get into it. But what I'm trying to say is that when you actually know the entire ecosystem, including the micros, you can make so many more educated guesses, right? As to what is down there and what is biting, meaning that your chances of landing different species of fish of the day, they actually go up, right? Uh, as soon as I came to this particular spot and I stopped to fish it, I was like, man, that's the silver side, right? And if there's silver side around here around this time of the year, there are going to be some other species of fish. So, so far we've caught bluefish and the black sea bass. And I really still believe that there are some shed around here. So I'm going to keep casting the little EPF swim. Piling, it's the piling, power of the piling. Cast right next to the piling. Pilings like this are gold. It is a structure for a, a lot of different species of fish. Oh man, feels good too. What is this? Is it just a bigger black sea bass? It feels decent. Folks, I don't know what this is, but it feels decent right next to the piling too. It's not pulling like a snapper. Oh, it's just a bigger black sea bass. Ay, 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 madre de Dios. Mamma mia. And it even comes with some weird stuff attached. Dude, this, what is that? A tumor or something? Yo, there's something going on with this black sea bass right here, you know? I don't know what the heck that is, but you know what, man, let, 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 let's just release this little fella. I don't wanna get whatever it, it, it's got, you know? You gotta be very careful when releasing these guys. It's got spines behind the opercular flap. You don't wanna hurt yourself, right? Oh, that was a good, man, I'm telling you. you no, know, that's why there are species of grouper too, casting the little EPF swim right here, right? The purple purple color man and not bad that was that was a very decent fight on the ultralight you know what let's cast a little bit more towards the sandy area never know right cast more towards the sand maybe something different shows up let's see here <clears throat> yeah 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 got a tiny hit around the sand over here Got it. The sandy area. Got it in a sandy, sandy biome. What do we got here? Dude, you ain't gonna believe this. Out of the season. Season. 
flounder on the EPF is with him. Uh, and I don't know, dude, wow, dude, either it's really well fed or it's got a bulge over here. It, it's regurgitating minnows, unbelievable. Now we need to take a closer look at the sample right here. This is truly astonishing. I'll tell you all, this is fascinating, you know. I just landed the summer flounder out of season, right? And you guys can see the little bulge right here in its belly, right? GoPro doesn't really show a sense of depth, but there's a bulge right here that initially I thought is like some type of tumor or something, right? Because I never seen something like that in a summer flounder before, and I've caught a lot of them. It turns out this little dude is a sinner. Gluttony is a sin, my man. Look at this. He regurgitated six little Atlantic silver side while inside my jackal egg bucket and I guarantee you that, that there are at least four more in there okay Paralictis dentatus okay the greediest one that I've seen in quite a while look at that just going down there man everything is feeding on the silver sides over here this is fascinating you know People can make fun of me all they want. Come down here to the shore, bring an ultra light with you, right? EPF is swim. Am I lying to you guys? You guys are seeing the results. Three species so far, and we're not done yet. Oh, we're not done yet. My poor little EPF is swim is getting mangled over here. But thankfully, you know, the snappers haven't had a chance of taking it yet. <laughs> well, that was the fattest summer flounder that I've seen in a while. I'll give you that. And the thing is, if there are some summer flounder around here during the fall, <laughs> you guys see what I did there? There is potential for some window pane flounder as well, right? The Scophthalmus aquosus. So I'm going to keep casting around the sandy area over here a little bit and then I'm going to cast around the piling over here a little bit and once the current starts picking up right in front of us over here the herring should be around three species so far in New Jersey salt though not gonna lie I'm already very satisfied with the results here at Harris you know that's just good it's good good day of multi-species in the New Jersey salt Oh, got something. Oh, that does not feel like a black sea bass or a snapper blue. Feels like a flounder, actually. Feels like a flounder. Is that our... Oh, that is not. I thought it was going to be our window pane. It turns out it's just a regular summer. Look at that, huh? I mean, chunky summer, though. And trying to catch a little... <laughs> a little window pane because I'm not so sure if my if the coalition account on Instagram already has the window pane or not check it out huh? summer flounder ah, okay okay all right this one's not that fat though this one needs to feed more on the silver side for sure the Sun is finally starting to come out noon is coming but anyways that was a fat flounder huh i've been fishing for flounder for a long long time all different sizes that was the first time that i've seen a flounder that fat you know meaning well fed and i tell you what you know if you just look right over here right the snapper blues are still feeding on the schools of Silverside right around this area. Sadly, GoPro doesn't make any justice, but at naked eye level, you can see the snappers coming here and taking the little silver sides. There's a huge school of them right over here. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, I mean, you know, if you come here with an ultralight, so much bait, right? For sure, you're going to catch some fish. And I tell you what, even though the shed didn't really show up, I think this video is actually quite educational. I think that we all have learned something very important 
today, right? A lot of people out there, they love their bluefish. A lot of people love their stripers, their black sea bass, their summer flounder, all the game fish, right? But let's not forget, folks, that the small ones matter too. What are all these game fish feeding on at the end of the day, right? Check that out, the Atlantic Silverside, the Menidia Menidia. At a certain stage of their lives, man, they've eaten plenty, huh? So many fish that I caught today regurgitated the silver sides and a lot of them too. Not just like one or two. They are fattening up real good right here for the winter. Anyways, that being said, we caught like what? Three different species of fish in this video, right? And as you guys can see per the list, I spent quite a good amount of time punching my EPF swim for the black sea bass right around the pilings. I really wanted to see if anything exotic was going to show up or anything different since the shed didn't really show up, right? Hey, I tell you what, it was just a very pleasant morning fishing here in Atlantic City. Now I'm going to take a little break, get something to eat, and I'll probably hop to the jetty, right, uh, at the inlet to finally try to catch that. Well, you know what? I'm going to save that for a future video. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you guys got to see some cool stuff in this, in this video and even learn some stuff about the New Jersey salt. I'll see you guys next time.